What's up guys, I'm Ravi Keki and welcome to another Java Swings uh, video. Okay, in our previous video, what we did was we created a frame and we made use of three uh, Swings uh, components. There's a label, text field and button and we placed it according to the X and Y coordinates. Now, why I've created this uh, video is uh, to make your uh, a concept uh, clear regarding what are x and what are y axis i didn't explain it uh, in a very good manner in a previous video what i did was is i just read my hand and uh, it will be very difficult for you to understand so i have made another uh, program to make your concept uh, clear regarding set bounds okay so now this is the login program that i've created so let's run this program uh, login java Okay, so this is a frame that I've created. I've made use of two text boxes, two text fields, I mean two labels, two text fields, um, two buttons, login and exit. Okay, so nothing new. I have just uh, initialized uh, the variables that I want to use uh, in this program and uh, I mean declared over here, initialized the various uh, things components and uh, set the coordinates of width and height uh, to that control and added it to the frame so this is pretty much simple the new things control of used over here is the j text fields i mean whatever you enter will not be the clear text it will be asterisk ones okay so the control that i've used is j text field okay see j text field Okay, nothing new in this video uh, apart from, I mean, uh, as compared to a previous one. So what we'll be doing is um, making another JFrame form and making use of uh, palette. We'll be seeing how to I mean, drag and drop a swings control to our frame and how to give name to that uh, control and um, how to set labels or the appearance or text. Okay, so I'll, we'll create a login form. Again form okay finish okay so now see uh, this is the form uh, this is the design uh, section this is source section okay so the all the code is written over here okay so this is uh, let's go to the design section now now look at this this is a pa uh, palette i don't know how to i mean pronounce it I, I pronounce it as a palette okay so now uh, and these are the properties of uh, the swings control Okay, if you do not uh, see the palette in your uh, NetBeans ID, what you have to do is just go to the Windows menu and uh, just single click on this palette and it will appear the sidebar. Okay, so this video in this video we will just create a login screen. Okay, so now see over here we have label just drag and drop wherever you want. Okay, so as simple as that and uh, text field where you are finding text field okay text field okay now the label for the password and uh, where are you where, where is the pass okay j password field okay and two buttons that is for login and uh, for exit okay now you can resize this okay according to whatever size you want you can like uh, now you can uh, so now look at this you can expand the width or you can expand the height whatever you you want to do you don't have to manually type the code now i've uh, dragged and draw i've just dragged those controls to a frame now look at the source uh, file Oops, I, okay. The code has automatically generated over here. Now look at this. Uh, I have not imported uh, things. See, javx.swings.j button. Okay, it has automatically come uh, to the coding section. Okay, so this is, uh, as I said, don't use if you're a beginner, newbie, don't use this technique. Just be perfect with the coding part, then go on to the this section. Okay. Now, the text over here is jlabel1 if i want to change the uh, text over here just right click on that control edit text uh, type in whatever you want that is username press enter over here just uh, right click edit text password enter now even with the text will just right click edit text okay right click edit text backspace okay resize this 
okay now if you want to change the text of the button same as the technique that is login and uh, exit for this as simple as that now in our uh, previous login uh, code we have given names uh, to the uh, that uh, swings very uh, swings control that is login for a jlabel uh, that is username pwd for password we have given uh, names to that control now how can we give uh, names to this uh, controls just right click on this and go to the second one change variable name we can set it as uh, txt no, username txt okay just like click and uh, give uh, pwd txt so this is a way how can how you can uh, give names to the Sphinx control. Same is the case with a login, exit, and password and username. You can right click and pretty much change the text, username. Okay, I mean the name of that control. Okay, now let's run this code. Login form. Now look at this. This is output. Okay, so this is uh, how we can create a login you form using a login frame using by making use of palette. Okay, there is no title over here. If you wanna like uh, change the properties of the text field or a label, there is a property section over here. You can look for the appropriate uh, thing, appropriate property, and uh, edit it. Okay, now for this text field, if I editable, if I check uncheck the editable uh, property and run this code the text box will not be i mean you will not be able to enter text to into the text field okay see there is nothing it has disabled okay okay so that's it for this video um, my intention was uh, just to show you how to create frames by making this a palette okay uh, so that's it for this uh, video. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I don't know what I'm gonna teach you. Maybe I'll be first of all looking at the events or uh, the layout managers. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's it for this video. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give thumbs up, comment if you have not understood any concept. I'm here to comment. I mean, I'll reply you. Okay, so thanks for watching.